We've seen really a, a, a dramatic upswing in the uh, therapeutic landscape for KRAS mutant uh, cancers in the last couple of years with two KRAS G12C inhibitors, uh, sotorasip and adagrasip, uh, receiving uh, accelerated regulatory approval for KRAS G12C mutant non-small cell lung cancer, which are the first KRAS targeted therapies to be approved for this subset of lung cancer, which uh, is a significant uh, portion of patients with, uh, with lung cancer. And um, <clears throat> these agents have uh, activity in other cancers, colorectal cancers and other GI cancers with KRAS G12C mutations. Um, and further development is underway um, as single agents and in combination with these inhibitors. There is also a second wave of new KRAS inhibitors coming, different ways of targeting KRAS G12C, as well as inhibitors against the other mutant isoforms of KRAS, uh, which are common in uh, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, so KRAS G12D, for example. So I think that there's a, there's a, there's a lot of movement in this space, and I think it'll be a very exciting time uh, in drug development and, and in the therapeutic landscape of patients with KRAS mutant cancers over the next couple of years.